Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is a brand new series where we're gonna check out some holiday parks around the East Coast. And I'm at one of the original holiday parks in the UK. It's also one of the oldest as well. And believe it or not, it opened up back in 1906 and it has certainly been through some changes and it has recently just had a massive investment into the park as well, which has completely changed it. And if you weren't here last year, you'll see a complete difference. I'm starting down here on the beach because this has direct access to the beach, which is phenomenal. It's got a beautiful beach, which stretches out for miles. You can even walk to Great Yarmouth in one direction and Hemsby in the other. We start here where, to be honest, the entrance bit the reception area hasn't changed much. So let's start the tour here, right at the front gate, and let's walk through one of the oldest holiday parks in the UK. So I've come to realize that this site is so big, the best way to get around it and to show you is by being on one of these. Obviously a temporary check in place, thanks to COVID. And um, I do love this little boat they've put here. You might remember on this particular site here used to be the old um, Neptune's Palace which uh, used to cover this whole area which has since been taken away and just been uh, left with greenery. But this is nice isn't it? So yeah we're going to take a look around the camp. What do they call it parks nowadays? Camp or park? I think it's your own preference. Up here is where you would uh, go and look for a caravan or a holiday home. And they always have some, uh, some nice caravans up here if you've got the extra bit of cash and a great photo opportunity. And I think it's definitely got to be done. I've got to sit in this chair, right? There's no one else around I can do it. I tell you what, I love these big deck chairs. If only they sold them in B&M, right? It'd be brilliant. Do you know what? I actually love coming in here for the fish and chips. They do a nice bit of chunky cod. It's a done thing though. You've got to kind of have fish and chips when you come on holiday to a holiday park. So they've spent a lot of money redoing the park this year over the winter. Um, and you're gonna see a massive difference if you come here this year. Um, and we'll come to that in just a second. First, this kind of area is um, where you can get some essentials in the shops. And it's also the, uh, the main entrance to the new entertainment center, which uh, I can't, don't quote me, I think it was about seven, eight years ago when this, um, when this popped up, when Neptune's Palace got took down. They're just doing some painting work for the season at the moment. It's always good to get a pizza. Papa John's. So on a hot summer's day, they've got a great place to, uh, to eat out here. And the mash and barrel. Even though I'm a local, um, I've been to visit my sister who stayed here before and sat out here and had a, uh, a nice beverage or two. Obviously it looks very different to when everything is, uh, is shut. But this is the, uh, the new part of the site and of course one of the biggest changes um, in a long time. This is now called the Beachside Adventure Village. Let's go and have a look through. I think some work is still going on, but um, most of it is, um, is pretty much done. It's a great place to sit out there and have a drink. Love all these little picnic benches they've put out as well 
to uh, enjoy and they don't have to worry about cutting the grass I want to get some of this you know and put it in my garden because you've got to pay for a good quality piece of um, fake grass to make it look good and I think they've done a good job here and it's interesting isn't it how so many UK holiday parks nowadays are opting for this tropical holiday vibe with little palm trees, yucca plants, all that kind of thing. It's a place to get your seaside treats here, no doubt ice cream. So this is, ah, oh, I've seen one of these before. This is literally where you would, um, you climb up there, probably have some safety stuff on and take a jump off, I think. Don't quote me, obviously this is brand new, so I'm only speculating here, but I'm sure that blows up and you, uh, you take a jump off the, the high one or obviously the, the lower one. Obviously I'd go high one every time. My back wouldn't be able to take it though. This area looks really cool. Um, obviously because of coronavirus, a lot of the entertainment last year in holiday parks actually happened outside, but on a nice summer's evening, what a great place to, uh, to, to watch some evening entertainment here. It's nice what they've done with all the picnic tables out here as well. And I love the beach hut theming. This sounds really weird to be walking on this grass. This is good quality stuff. I want this for my garden. I've been debating it for a long time, but uh, I don't know whether I can afford it. It's very expensive, but it just means that you don't have to worry about cutting grass. Although you do miss that smell of the freshly cut grass, don't you? Love these beach huts. And I like the fact that um, rather than just making it absolutely flat, they've, um, they've put like little hills in it as well, just to give it a little bit more definition, which is quite nice. Now the park is actually closed, but um, I think some locals obviously come to, uh, to play on the park. <laughs> Cheeky. Now this is interesting. What they've done up here um, is almost like an athletics track which, um, or I think it might be for segways. It looks like an athletics track, but I think it might be for the segways actually, which is what they've done all here, which looks pretty cool. And uh, all weather court for football and basketball. See, no matter how old you are, you still probably would like to go on these. You don't see many adults going on the bungee jumpers. But what's really nice is you can see here that they've got these, uh, the lights going all the way down. So on an evening, this will look really pretty. Obviously you can walk down to the beach in this direction, which we'll come to in just a little bit. But let me know in the comments your memories of Caister Holiday Park and what used to be here as well, there used to be uh, a big slippery slide, wasn't there? And some sky ropes, stuff like that. Cut the grass already. Yeah, there used to be a miniature golf up here. I thought that for a second was a roller coaster, but no, it's, um, it's kind of like high wire, but for younger children as well. So it's not too high. It's almost like a training one for the, uh, the bigger one, which is just over there. No doubt they do um, archery, maybe, in there. I'm not quite sure what they're putting in this area here. Let's just have a quick walk down here. Briefing area. So I think you can hire segways, or you will be able to hire segways from here. So this is for the, uh, the adults, which is slightly higher high wire which does look pretty good now this is something I definitely want to go on obviously I can't because I'm too big for it but uh, little mini 4x4 off-roaders going around on this track. How cool is that going to be? Mm -hmm. 
So just before we go up to the other part of the camp, I'm just going to take you down to one of the best areas of the park. Um, and that is why people come on holiday, right? To check out the beach. And here in Caister, if anyone has ever stayed on this site, um, they will tell you how nice the beach is here because it is absolutely beautiful. And it's not very often you can say beaches in the UK are beautiful in, um, in March, but they are. And it is today because the sun's out. Yeah, like I told you, they'd have segways. You can see the sign there. I love a segway. It's a shame you can't ride them on UK roads, but um, so you've got to have a place where you can ride them. And there is still the crazy golf course is still here. That that ball, which you can just see there, has been there for ages, hasn't it? And this crazy golf course. So I'm glad they've kept that in. I'm sure a lot of people will be happy about that. So this area here um, used to be chalets all the way along here. And there also used to be, um, if you remember, let me know in the comments, another um, entertainment venue and kind of pub. But now it's been changed to the swimming pool. So the swimming pool is literally right by the beach. We've got a few slides in there. Good fun with the kids. See, the thing is about March, you, you get carried away. The sun comes out and you think, yes, spring has sprung. And of course the next week it could snow. So let's just have a peer through here of the swimming pool, completely and utterly empty. So the swim pool is just there and the beach coming up here. What I love about the entrance to the beach here in Caister is it's so dramatic, you know. When you arrive on holiday and you come down to a beach, some beaches, you just they're just there. But this one kind of like really does welcome you um, to Caister and it kind of uh, does a big shout. I love these, by the way, showing off the marron grass and the decking that they've got down here, which means it's perfect for people with um, wheelchairs and uh, people that might have some disability problems as well. But just look how big the beach is here. And it's sandy. There is so much sand on the beach in Caister. If you want to check out what Caister is like further up that away, um, do check out my video I did on Caister last summer. But the entrance down to the beach, look, So you literally could walk all the way up towards Hemsby in that direction and if you're feeling brave you could walk to Great Yarmouth in that direction. But you can just see how beautiful the beach is here. It's lovely and sandy. There's no tides either as well on this part of the beach so it's perfectly safe for the kids to go and enjoy the water. Right, let's go back into the camp because now I'm going to take you up the other end and um, there used to be two holiday parks here. It was Caister Holiday Park and then Caister Beach um, and Haven bought that out a few years ago and now own that as well. We're also going to show you, if you remember, we're going to show you a club that used to be there that's no longer there. I think it was called the Carousel. Let me know in the comments. So I've come to realise that this site is so big, the best way to get around it and to show you is by being on one of these. literally trying to avoid all the speed <laughs> speed bumps can be quite difficult on these but it is a great way to get around the park which what I'm doing right now so I'm taking you up towards um, what used to be known as Caister Beach and where the old carousel club used to stand actually before we go there isn't there a really nice rose garden around here I know that sounds strange yeah it's just up here hang on I slow it down I'll get off my uh, scooter just leave it there 
Yeah, now in the summer, this looks beautiful. There's not many holiday parks that have something like this. And it's uh, perfectly symmetrical as well. And all these are roses and they come all over the pergolas and it just looks really, really nice. Obviously this time of year when there's no roses, but um, use your imagination and those people in, uh, in those holiday homes and get some uh, some really nice views. And you can't get lost because there are signs everywhere. So just here, this is where the old carousel club used to be. And uh, some of you also might remember, there used to be shops and uh, little takeaway places all the way along here as well. Obviously the site is very big. This is the uh, the start of what used to be the old Caister Beach Holiday Park. It's got an amusements up here as well and something they added a couple of years ago. Park for the kids. But I think that signage has been there from the uh, the 70s most definitely and there used to be uh, another amusement arcade on here as well. So this used to be known as Caister Beach. It is still classed as Caister Beach, part of Caister Holiday Park. Let's go and have a quick look. So yeah, if you are staying up this part of the, uh, the park, there is still a club nearby to go to, which is Seagulls. You are extremely lucky if you own one of these caravans. Thank you so much for watching my video. I thought I would show you the oldest holiday park in the UK, which has gone through complete transformation and looks completely different. So if you're gonna be coming here on holiday very soon, I hope you enjoy it. This video is not sponsored by Haven, FYI. Um, next week, we're gonna be going to a different holiday park. Make sure you check that out on my channel. Hit the subscribe button. If you're brand new here, click that notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Give the video a thumbs up and as always, I'll see you next time.